my channel thank you for coming back and thank you for your support i really appreciate much i don't take you for granted you should know this guys but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe can you please click on that notification bell down there so that you can be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will enjoy every content that i upload so dear friends before i jump into today's video i would like to give a special thanks to all of you that have been joining my channel membership thank you so much god bless you abundantly may he open the success doors in your life guys because you joining my channel membership gives me energy it gives me happiness <laughs> you have put a smile on my face guys and i would like you to know that and if you have not joined yet my channel membership feel free to join it's not expensive it's only four euros <laughs> Because I've got only one level so if you are capable of that please join to show me that you support me you support my channel you support the content that I put out there and I would like also to talk about something that has been really bothering me that some girls who have been coming on my DM to ask for an advice some of them have been helping them for almost seven months now but I came to realize that most of you guys that come to ask for an advice you have not subscribed to my channel and you don't watch my videos like two days ago i did a video and then a lady came on my dm to ask the same things that i talked on the video so i told the girl go and watch my recent video so guys you know i'm always genuine with you if you really want my advice you really want my guidance and you are not a member of my channel please make sure you watch my videos so before you come check if bella has uploaded a new video watch it and then come for an advice otherwise guys another option is for you to join my channel membership if you think my videos are not that important but you still want my advice then join my channel membership i thought it was good to talk about that so that we are clear on that time is very important we we should use it very effectively so dear friends back to us this video as this video is going to be very very interesting a lot of things to learn from this video and this video is a requested one from one of my subscribers she asked me Bella what are those important things that we should look for as women in a man so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you what are those important things that you should look for in a man those qualities that you should look for in a man important ones but guys you should know that this video will be very helpful very perfect for both men and women why am i saying this for love to work it takes two so if you are a lady looking for these qualities you should have them two yes because no matter how much a man is a husband material if you don't have these qualities that relationship will not work that's the truth guys <laughs> so without wasting much of your time let us jump into our video right now number one thing that you should look for in a man that you consider to be your future husband whether it is on online dating apps or even in real life you should make sure that a man is responsible as i said in my previous videos that as a lady you should be responsible that way you will find a partner this applies to to men a man should be responsible for his life a man should have a job working or has got a business something that brings income in his life never date a guy that doesn't have any income a lazy guy a guy that depends on parents or government help because these guys exist on online dating apps they will chat with you they will even be able to come to africa or asia wherever part of the world you are they will have that money but that money is for maybe parents or government help they don't want to work they just want to run around the world they don't want to settle down and have a family if you ask that man 
what is your plan in the next five years to come he won't be able to give you an answer if you ask that man do you want to get married in the future he will tell you mm, i don't know <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in a hurry so if you date such kind of a man you know what will happen he will date you for so long and in the end he will dump you when he is done and run to the next girl to run around with not something serious you will never create a stable relationship with an irresponsible man and if you manage guys to create a relationship it won't last because some of these guys you will chat them on online dating apps and they'll be able to invite you even in europe using their parents their uncles <laughs> any relatives that has got stable income they will invite you and when you come here you are going to suffer yes you will suffer very much because this life needs money to survive <laughs> he needs income <laughs> even if parents are helping him how long are they going to help him even if the government is helping him how long is this government going to help him he is supposed to work date a man or look this in a man who is not lazy a man who is ready to work a man who is ready to settle down and start a family because an irresponsible man will never want a family will never want kids because having a family guys is a lot of responsibilities <laughs> yes <laughs> so it takes a responsible man to marry it takes a responsible man to have kids <laughs> and if you are looking for such kind of things in your life if you think that you plan to have kids in the future that man who is irresponsible will never make a good dad will never make a good husband so you should make sure that a man that you date whether it is on online dating apps or even in real life is responsible for his life that way he will be responsible too to his family number two important thing that you should look for in a man whether it is on online dating apps or even in real life and you consider that man to be your future husband that man should be emotionally stable i talked of this in one of my videos and there are some ladies too sad to say this there are some ladies who still made the same mistake dated men who were emotionally unstable and as I'm talking right now guys these girls are in trouble actually I chatted to one of them a week ago and she was telling me Bella I am going into a depression so guys because this video was asked by a black woman there is this disease that is not so common to black people but it is very common to white people especially my research tells me very common in the us asia and europe bipolar disorder on online dating apps exist lots of white men who have got this bipolar disorder it's not a good thing thing and if you are married to someone who has got this disease i'm not advising you to abandon him please take care of him make sure he gets treated but if you have not started that relationship please better not start if you want to live a healthy relationship if you want to live a relationship whereby you won't feel like burnout you won't feel like you are sacrificing a lot in your life do not feel like you are so stressed to that relationship or you are caring so much about this man and he doesn't if you don't want to feel that way please don't start a relationship with a man who is emotionally unstable especially you guys who are on online dating apps searching for white men for marriage guys it has happened guys i have lots of cases and sometimes these things get to me like this lady who told me bella i'm going into depression because she is already into a relationship with this guy they are married already but when they were still dating she took it very lightly she didn't know that it was that serious guys it is very very serious 
if you are dating a white guy whether you met him on online dating apps or even in real life and then this guy today is very very happy he loves you so much tells you good good words romantic things and the next two days he hates you he abuses you he wants to end the relationship fights for no reason you know that the guy has got a bipolar disorder or you are chatting to a guy he is very happy he plans of good good things with you then after two or three days he does not remember about those things and he feels very sad he feels very depressed he feels like you don't love him enough if you sense that that guy has got a bipolar disorder such kind of a man due to that disease can sometimes want to take his life it's not good at all and because for us black women or black people we are not aware of that most of us it will become very difficult for you to understand so my advice here you ladies who are searching for white men for marriage go and research about this yes research about bipolar disorder see the signs and if that man has got those signs please don't start a relationship with him with such kind of a man you can't have kids in the future because kids need a healthy family healthy environment to grow so with a man who has got a bipolar disease it's very very risky to have kids so guys be very very careful date a man who is emotionally stable a man who can solve problems when problems arises he sits down with you and solves those problems without overreacting date a guy that is emotionally stable important thing number three that you should look for in a man that you consider to be your future husband whether it is on online dating apps or even in real life you should look for this in a man a man who is respectful he should respect you as a woman respect your rights you should be free to express whatever you want to express <laughs> and he should understand that without judging you without telling you you are a fool without telling you that what you are talking about doesn't have sense or you are not supposed to talk because you are a woman <laughs> no he should let you speak he should give you freedom of speech he should give you all your rights as a woman respect you as a woman and also respect other women yes because if a guy disrespects other women don't think that he will respect you even if he's showing you some respect but disrespecting other women you know that the guy is faking he is pretending and one day all his true colors will come out and he will start disrespecting you like the way he is disrespecting other women so observe very very well how this man talks about women how he treats other women don't only base on the way he treats you the way he treats other women too that one will show you that a man is a good man a husband material cause who doesn't want a man who is respectful we all want a man who is respectful to a woman remember guys when i started the video a woman too need to be respectful <laughs> don't expect a guy to respect you and you disrespect him no 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 guys we should all respect each other this reminds me of a story time <laughs> there is this girl that was chatting to a guy on online dating apps everything went very very well they started dating and after dating for a while this girl had a phone and the phone was really disturbing her because it was old so this guy told her that oh i see your phone is disturbing you would you want me to buy you a new phone then the lady was like yes so the guy asked what kind of phone do you want me to buy for you the lady was like i want an iphone <laughs> So the guy told the lady that are you really serious you want me to buy for you an iphone if you want that then you will have to be my prostitute can you imagine guys <laughs> the girl was in a shock <laughs> totally shock <laughs> 
The guy got really angry and if it was me, yes, I could have got angry. How can you talk to me like that? But the guy was like, no, don't worry, my love I was just joking. What kind of a joke? What a joke. <laughs> if you are looking for a husband, make sure a guy that you want to date or that you plan <laughs> to date should be respectful to you, should be respectful to other women. Number four important thing you need to look for in a man that you consider to be your future husband, whether it is on online dating apps or even in real life, is a man who will truly love you and not a man who will stay with you or who will be in a relationship with you only to use you. Yes, guys, because exist these men who will be in a relationship with you only to use you or who will be in a relationship with a black woman because, you know, we talk of interracial dating and they think that mm, if I get myself a black lady, it will be easy for me to control that lady because I heard black women are so naive, black women are so desperate. So he will go into a relationship with you only to have someone to control only to have someone to treat as a slave only to have someone to treat as an object be very careful of the man you date and make sure that you see the man has got pure pure love intentions with you not to use you for splitting the bills not to use you as his maid yes my dear beautiful ladies because some of these white men, not all of them, it's so sad to talk of this, but they've got very sick mind and that is why someone can have that idea of having someone to control, of having someone to treat as a slave. I have another little story, story time. <laughs> So there is a case that is going on in Italy right now. A 30 years old man who took the life of his parents. Yes, just because of money. <laughs> Inheritance. Yes, so the guy took the life of his parents. It's a very, very sad story. But what is more shocking is that this guy was on Tinder. Yes, <laughs> the guy was on Tinder and he was dating three Italian ladies from Tinder, but they did not know each other. And his reasons to join Tinder was not to look for love, not at all. The guy was looking for women to use as his alibi. Is it alibi, alibi, <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, you are going to understand as I explain more about this situation. So he dated these ladies. After taking the life of his parents, he had planned an appointment to one of the ladies to go and sleep with that lady. And when he reached the house of one of three ladies that they had an appointment, he had some dirty clothes in the bag and told the lady to help him wash those clothes. He slept there and the next day he called another lady, they met on Tinder, <laughs> to help him clean the house <laughs> with a very strong, strong detergent, you know, to remove all the traces of blood but he told the lady that it's the dog that made the floor dirty the girl helped the guy to clean that parent's house where everything happened with that strong detergent actually they went to buy that strong detergent together and clean together afterwards they went to clean the car where he transported the bodies <laughs> and throw those bodies in the river so the car was dirty of course he removed blood but the car still had traces of blood so they went to clean also the car with that second lady and when everything came out the ladies were the suspect too because they helped the whole thing but when they were interrogated they say that they did not know the one who cleaned the clothes was like for me it's normal it was a kind thing for me to help him wash those clothes and the one who cleaned the floor was like for me it was normal to help my boyfriend to clean the floor i didn't think that 
there was more to that the guy told the police that i was at my girlfriend's house i actually slept there you see an alibi he was looking for <laughs> and the one who cleaned the floor and about cleaning the floor he, i don't have anything to do with my parents disappearing actually i was very worried and after they disappeared i decided to clean the floor i was even with my girlfriend you see <laughs> So this guy had these three girls only to use them in his plan and they're actually in trouble guys they are in trouble the case is still going on yes though the guy is in jail but the ladies are not in jail yet because the case is still going on so that a man who will truly love you but not a man who will be with you only to use you Number five important thing that you should look for in a man that you consider to be your future husband, whether it is on online dating apps or even in real life, is a man who cares so much, a caring man, a loving man, <laughs> a man who will treat you with so much tenderness. Yes, guys, because women, we are very delicate, but not weak. <laughs> we are very sensitive, so we should be treated with so much tenderness, so much caring. Not a man who doesn't care, not a man who will force you to do things at the times you don't feel like doing them, because such kind of a man is selfish and he doesn't care. Or sometimes due to life you find yourself that you are in lots of problems you know downtime <laughs> but this man will make sure he brings happiness into you he'll put a smile on your face he'll make sure that he gives you some advice in whatever it is disturbing you <laughs> yes that's help help doesn't have to be only money so if you see that in a man then that man makes a good husband yes guys <laughs> but if you date a guy who doesn't care a guy who treats you bad without thinking of how you will feel then it's a no it's x he does not make a good husband or he won't make a good husband in the future also guys you should make sure that that man is not that kind of a guy who holds grudges when mistakes happens or when problems arises or you have a fight and then he holds grudges no he should be a guy when you talk about something and you solve it it ends there he doesn't bring it later in the future and talk about it always bring it always bring it in the end everything is going to explode and the relationship will end so for you to have a healthy relationship a relationship that will be forever <laughs> number six important thing that you need to look for in a man if you consider that man to be your future husband whether online or even in real life is faithfulness a man who is faithful a man who won't give you mixed feelings when it comes to trust a man that you can count on i know some of us black african women we think that there is no man for one woman but i tell you guys that is only the mindset because that man for one woman exists actually a lot <laughs> yes exist so don't allow yourself to date a man who sleeps around or you find that you are dating a guy he always cheats on you and you forgive when you forgive he cheats again you forgive and you tell yourself there is no man for one woman no remove that mindset dear ladies and date a guy who you can count on date a guy who you can fully trust yes you won't have any trust issues and he won't give you reasons to doubt him because if you date a guy who is unfaithful i tell you dear ladies your heart will stay here <laughs> <laughs> all the time thinking oh my god is he cheating on me again oh my god is he cheating again <laughs> all the time you are worried to be cheated on due to the things the guy is doing or due to the times the guy has betrayed you yes <laughs> so please 
if a guy is unfaithful he is giving you those mixed feelings when it comes to trust x not a good husband <laughs> so number seven dear beautiful ladies goes to all black african women that are searching for white men for marriage you should observe this in your future husband he should respect your culture and traditions yes he should be someone who is very open-minded when you talk about your culture he should be someone who will accept it this applies to you too because he is someone who is not from the same country same continent a different race so you should also be open-minded be ready to accept his culture yes my dear beautiful ladies this is very very important because when you two don't accept each other's culture or if one of you don't accept the other's culture it's a huge problem that will lead to divorce that will lead your relationship to break up so as early as possible observe this before you start a relationship with a white man is he respectful to my culture traditions is he open-minded to new things you should observe all these because it's very very important number eight important thing to look for in a man that you consider to be your future husband whether online or in real life you should make sure that this man that you consider to be your husband is someone who allows you to be free with him a friendly person because most couples that are very very successful the secret is these two are best friends yes <laughs> so, so that man should be your partner in crime <laughs> yes because <laughs> that way your marriage your relationship will work forever <laughs> trust me guys trust me on this so the guy should let you be free around him he should also be free around you no secrets <laughs> no this is private or oh, don't ask me a lot of questions he does not open up so much to you if you see that in a man you know that that relationship even if you want to start it even if the guy is so good looking <laughs> it won't work because you need to be free around each other guys that's very very important if you are looking for a strong relationship that will last forever yes my dear beautiful ladies because guys if a man is your best friend you won't feel like everything you do maybe i'm doing a mistake or maybe it's not right <laughs> oh i shouldn't say this <laughs> i shouldn't say that i might offend him no you are going to be very very free to talk because he is your best friend even if you mistake he will be able to understand you because you are best friends partners in crime <laughs> so you should make sure that you look for that in a man number nine important thing you need to look for in a man that you consider to be your future husband that man should be protective should be a man who will protect you no matter what guys you ladies that are looking for white men for marriage sometimes it's not all the time that these families accept you not all the time i've had a story whereby a woman was black and the guy was white actually italian and the first time the guy brought this lady to introduce her to his family the mother did not respond to the greeting from the lady and immediately the mother said that no 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 i won't accept this relationship you can't bring a black woman into our family it will never happen the mother rejected completely that lady but the guy was very determined the guy protected the lady as i am talking right now they are best best friends with her mother-in-law <laughs> she learned to love her because the man was able to protect her 
be by her side and say look mom this is the lady that i love this is the lady that i want to spend the rest of my life with guys this story that i'm giving you is true actually the one who told me the story is the lady herself yes <laughs> i met her here in italy so she was telling me the whole experience of what she experienced when she first came here so you need a man who will be able to protect you no matter what happens yes dear beautiful ladies it is very very important so dear friends thank you so much for watching till now i really appreciate you much much your time your support your love god bless you but i want to ask you a question did you enjoy this video if you did please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good comment below what you think about this video if you haven't subscribed please subscribe join the family thank you for subscribing until next time you are always here in my heart ciao ciao